Hi everybody, it's Julianne Lee from Adored Beats Apothecary and I just did a video on um, on gut and poop and things like that. So that kind of led me into going, I want to do a video on boredom and why does poop have anything to do with boredom uh, for your dogs and your cats? It does because I have often been told that, um, you know, can't stand it. My dog, it's so embarrassing. I, I, I bring a new boyfriend in and the first thing they do is like head for his crotch and smell his crotch or, or I take my dogs out and they're really inappropriate. They're smelling dogs bums and they're doing this and they're doing that. That's that. And, and we're reprimanding them for them. Oh, don't do this. We got all embarrassed. Oh my God. It's like, it's like me telling you don't read the newspaper, don't go online, don't watch television. They get so much stimulation and so much information from smelling each other's parts and each other's poops. They can, they know, oh wow, so-and-so has been there. They can smell their, their, um, their hormones. They know what sex they are. They probably know what age and breed and maybe even where they live because they can track where do they go where they go to the bathroom every day when they go for a walk. This video is about trying to understand your like try to fit I know your dogs have to fit into our lifestyle, but but sometimes we just need to give them a break and let them have their own lifestyle. Let them be dogs and and walking, exercising um, chewing on bones. When they chew on bones, not only is it amazing for their teeth, but it exercises their mandibular joint and stimulates endorphins. When they go for a run, imagine like itchy dogs or a dog, a dog that's got something going on with it to actually get out and, and have their, their adrenaline stimulated so that it decreases the itch and it gives them a reason to not focus on their itch. There's a billion reasons why your dogs are are needing to get outside, get out and run, go to daycares, have somebody come in and spend time with them if you're at work all day and play ball with them if they can't socialize with other dogs. There's always a way, hiding treats and things. There's, there's, it is such, we're always listening to to health and supplements and diets and and we and we forget a big part can you imagine if i took you and i put you in a room and i said no computers no video games no reading no watching television no playing guitar no no nothing you just have to stay in this in this apartment or stay in this house until i come home and take you out for 45 minutes or an hour i feel like a large part of our our ill health in our animals is our 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 inability to get um, to to get into their heads to figure to really feel what that would be like to be alone so much to to not have anything to do for for such a long period of time and you know I know that they give us so much joy but sometimes we have to really sit back and go there's more to their life than than their, than their nutrition. There's more to their life than their supplementation. There's more to their life than their health care. They have to have fun. They have to run out and sniff things that we don't think are, are appropriate to sniff. And they have to, they gotta be dogs and they have to have exercise and they have to, and like I said, if they're too old and they can't really exercise anymore, so much more you can do with them. Like, like let them chew bones, like play games with them on the floor, like go out and collect things and bring them back and let them smell them and talk to them about what it is and get them excited again. Let, let them use their nose and their ears. So I just wanted to touch base on that because it's such an important part of health that we forget because we get too caught up in our own lives. So I hope that's a little bit of a, a food for thought and maybe you can go out and spend some time. It'd be awesome for you guys too. For people that are single, it's the easiest way to talk to people is through your dogs. For people that are kind of couch potatoes, get your butt up, get out there with your dogs, get some movement going. I can guarantee you, you'll get just as much joy from it as your dog does. Thank you.